Hello everybody, all you wonderful people, and welcome back to another episode of Grand Theft Auto 5. And here we are, playing as Trevor currently, and uh, I was thinking about starting off this video by continuing on the Epsilon program missions with Michael, so let's change to Michael first of all <clears throat> and we are pretty far away so actually we got the tuned car now so let's see do I wanna drive to the location or what and there's our maid hello maid oh Tracy hey sugar plum daddy <laughs> I'm in trouble. What is it? Money? Drugs? Your mother. There's this guy. He's been following me around. I think he's about to do something. Oh no. Help Tracy? Of course we're gonna help Tracy. Where are you? Vinewood Plaza. Okay, wait there. He's been following me in my car, so let's just drive around and you can talk to him when he shows. Oh yeah, we'll talk. Oh yeah, we'll have a little talk. Anyway, let's head to Tracy. Alright, get out of my way. All of you, there we go. <clears throat> and here we go. Let's help Tracy out. Somebody has been stalking her and we're gonna help our lovely daughter out so here we go and after that we are gonna do the mission we were intending to hello Tracy all right let's get into your car all right so let's go find him let's go find Hawaiian snow okay let's go Purple okay, convertible. Thanks, Daddy. Hey, what are dads for, huh? I mean, other than giving you money, putting a roof over your head, speaking to guys who ridicule you on TV, passing out drunk in front of old movies, screaming at boys I'm dating, freaking out when a cop car drives past. I get it. I get it. Are you having one of your moments? What moments? I don't know. Anyways, let's drive over here. I just Did wanted hear? to hear the the no, dialogue. We should try that motel opposite the big construction site. Okay, let's try the motel then. Where'd you meet this guy? Uh at a signing? What are you signing? A pot petition? So you better not be taking out credit like your brother. Not credit. Okay. That's it for the dialogue. Let's drive to the next place. Did you see him? I don't think so. Maybe we should look over at Clock and Bell, Rockford Plaza. Okay, let's look at Clock and Bell. I was signing autographs at the expo. People want to meet you after that video on fame or shame? Yeah, yeah, the videos. Ah, oh, well, now you just got to find a way to make money out of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, funny. We found this prick? Not yet. Okay, oh, uh, how about going around the corner and back up the hill past Crockahoo? Okay, let's go. My baby girl's a celebrity with her very own stalker. You finally made it, Dad. You raise your kids in Rockford Hills. What was I thinking? You know, it's amazing you've turned out this good. Oh yeah, Tracy, you've been okay. a good girl. You around here? Huh? Oh, I'm there we go. <laughs> He's on you. Let's go. All right, stop the stalker's car. Okay, stalker. Hey, what are you running for, pal? Let's talk. Yeah, let's talk. I didn't know she already had a sugar daddy. I'm not her sugar daddy. Now I'm gonna deal with you. Okay, there we go. Let's use this stun gun and get her him down. Like that. Are you gonna get up? Huh? That ain't love. 
It's the internet. You're a cyber creep. Yeah. You're right. You're right. I'm getting help. I don't believe in you. You're Run, still you getting up. Bastard. All the way out of town. I'll leave the state. I promise. I'm going to Thailand. I mean rehab. Rehab? Huh? Yeah, have fun. All right, I guess that's enough. We'll let him go. And yeah, let's get back in Tracy's car. Oh my God, you prick. This guy deserves a punishment. Okay. Okay, Tracy, I'm just doing a little business over here, so... Yeah, this guy ran me over, so I'm just gonna punch him a little bit. Alright, and now I'm gonna ba get back to you, babe. Actually, no. I don't get to call my daughter a babe. Maybe? Or do I? I don't know. Anyways. Let's just say it don't look like he's gonna turn up at your next fan club AGM. The fan club's gone national. That's amazing PR, Pop. I might... Hey, stop it. Be careful next time. Would you mind if I leaked this? Leaked what? I thought we had you potty trained two decades ago. Ew, I meant bleed it or something. No bleeder, no life invader, no whatever else you got. Being this public with your life is what got you into this situation. Oh but yeah. It'll really boost my profile. You got creep stalking you. I'd say your profile is plenty boosted already. Exactly. Listen to your dad. Anyways, let's drop you off at the house. Just like this. No creepy stalkers in this joint, honey. Just creepy brothers, killers, drug dealers. Yeah. I'm glad I could use my paternal rage productively for once. Thank you, Tracy. Alright. So, mission complete. Mission passed. There we go. Okay. And now, we don't have our own car, but we gotta set a waypoint all the way over there. And that's eight kilometers. I'm not gonna drive that distance. I'm gonna call for a cab. Here we go. Can you get a cab here as soon as possible? Of course. Driver should be with you soon. Sounds good, thanks. Yep, sounds good. Oh, Amanda sent me something. It's also an email. Don't forget to set up a getaway vehicle. Get hold of something incon inconspicuous. Park it some somewhere secluded. I don't know if that's meant to be a uh, typo or if that's like a mistake by the developers. So where do you wanna go? I'm gonna go to that waypoint. Oh no no, like this. There we go. But anyways, uh, park it somewhere secluded, then call with the location, alright? And then let's read Amanda's message. Hmm, listen Michael, I'm so glad we're back together and making a, making a go of things. After everything we've been through, I just couldn't give up on our family. Yes, you're awful and clearly you're never going to change, but I guess I want to bury you. When the time comes, as your wife. Please stop cheating on me, please stop hanging out with those people, and please stop getting into the kind of trouble you're getting into. Go back to being the fat, depressing slob in therapy I loved. Okay, be the best you, that's what they say on Listen In, so do it. Or do something positive, set an example to the kids, a better example. Listen, I really think we should remodel the house again. Nothing expensive, what they call a quick gut. It should really solidify our relationship. Either that or get a beach house. Think you find to see very calming. XOX, Amanda. My darling wife, hear you. 
I'll continue to do my best. No house remodeling or beach houses just yet though. Please let's focus on getting the kids out of the house and gainfully employed first. X. Michael. Alright, there we go. And now we can... Ah, so you're that kind of a taxi driver. Ah, uh, hurry. Come on, get the lead out. Buckle up. Okay, now he's driving faster. Okay, I'm gonna skip the entire journey. Obviously, of course, I'm not gonna sit in the back of a cab for what 15 That's minutes. Right, my man. All right, two hundred dollars. That's kind of an expensive ride, but here we are. Let's start the next epsilon mission. By the way, before I do that, I wanna go over here and check out my portfolio. Okay, taco bomb has gone up. Let's sell that for three hundred and fifteen thousand dollars. There we go. Hello, Marnie. How are you? Michael, or should I say Zolag? Zolag? What? Your real name is Zolag. You are a king. You lived in a cloud city, but evil forces came and cast you out. Now you are trapped here, but soon you shall be free. Okay. I used to be called Marnie. Now I am Shupar, Queen of the Winds. Okay. Down the pathway to believing for non-objectionable persons, the literature is very clear about that. <sighs> Why is it whenever people talk about reincarnation, they're always a king or a general or a famous person? How come they're never a serf or a rock or a bug? Oh, it is easy to be a doubtful antithesis, but be a thesis, Zolag. These are incredible truths. I used to be lost. Now I'm the most powerful person in existence. Last are night, you? I went to 47,000 places at the same time. Okay. Wow. This is bullshit. Objectionable persons fall at any hurdle. Goodbye. Helping higher beings is the pathway to acquiring a higher existence. I'm sure it is. You're not. But you are on the way. Some of our true thesis holders, who also happen to be top of their field actors, philosophers, and humanitarians, require cars. Oh. Can you find it in your heart to be of service? The spirits shall email you their requirements. Of the course. Don't be an antithesis, Zolag. Kiflom. Kiflom. Kiflom, Michael, you said it. Are you a part of the cult now? Anyways, let's run to the road. And let's see, they are gonna send me an email apparently, and I gotta get some cars for them, so. Okay. Marnie sent me an email. Before I open that, I wanna get myself a car. Uh, not that one. Uh, maybe this one is going to do. Here we go. Sorry for stealing that right in front of your eyes, but... Yeah. Alright, so let's open the email. The Road to Enlightenment, brother. These are the vehicles that the higher beings require. Be Pegasi Vaca, Benefactors Rano, The Glass Tornado, Inu Super Diamond, and Dinga Double T. Make sure these vehicles are delivered in a condition befitting the level of divine understanding that our thesis holders have reached. Carry out this small task for us and you will be rewarded with knowledge of infinitely greater value. Craft be praised. M. Okay. So, um, I'm just gonna go to the internet and then I'm gonna Google out the locations of these cars and I guess I'm gonna deliver them. So, I'm gonna be right back. Okay, so the first car is apparently going to be at this location, so I'm just gonna go ahead and drive over there and be with you guys in a few minutes. 
Okay, so here I am almost at the location of the car number one which should be parked right in here and there is a car I'm also going to need but not yet. Let's do it in this order. So apparently in here I should find a yes there it is the car. Also let's check out the email it's green in the picture but it's the same car yep so this vehicle is wanted by the epsilon program deliver it to the location marked that over there all right that's nearby let's drive over there and get this car delivered one out of five is soon going to be done so here we go, just like that, alright, and uh, oops, I went past the garage, it's here, okay, here we go, there's a $250,000 sports car for you, yeah. Enjoy that ride at 10th Paradigm. Yeah, alright, there we go. We got one out of the five vehicles delivered now. Now I'm gonna check out the location for the second one, and that's going to be over here somewhere. So I'm gonna take this car and I'm gonna drive over there and be back in a minute. Okay, so I am here at the location and the second car that they wanted was a benefactor Sereno and there we can find one so apparently all these cars have a spawn point where they spawn to so yeah again we have to put the waypoint manually and I'm gonna deliver this car to the garage. Okay, so uh, I accidentally crashed the car a little bit. So let's see what will happen when I come to this garage. Is it gonna accept that? Yes, it is. Okay. Kiflom, baby. Alright, the third car is located on over here. So let's find a car once again. Uh, I'm gonna take this one. This is an electric. No, this is not an electric car. But this is a fast car, so that will make things easier. And I'm gonna drive to the location and be right back. Okay, so here I am at the location with the car number 3. And that's going to be the D-Class Tornado. So let's go ahead and grab that one. There we go. And then we have to manually put the waypoint again, and this car is gonna be slow. Oh man. Anyways, I'll be back when I reach the garage. And here I am almost at the location of the Epsilon Garage, and after this we only have two more cars remaining. Here we go, this is the third one. Okay. Oh, brother, brother. Alright. Oh man, do I have to drive the same car again? Anyways, let's see. The location for the car number four is going to be over here. So I'm gonna drive myself over there. With the same car that I ch was just driving, but I'll see you guys there. Okay, and I'm already almost here. Let's see if I can find the car. Let's actually see what car it even was. 
so it's gonna be the Inu super diamond and then the last one is going to be the ding double t all right so there we go we have the uh, super diamond let's go all right this is a beautiful car i think this is based off of a rolls royce well, this one tuned would be an amazing vehicle it's so good looking that i don't want to crash this baby let's drive to the hills here we go okay look at the interior okay guys you are getting a maybe uh, i don't know how much this costs in the in-game shop but at least a couple of hundred thousand dollars so i have given you almost a million dollars worth of cars soon so michael is really starting to be in the epsilon program now okay i really don't want to crash this beauty at least this is fast all right anyways here we are at the garage let's drive this in there we go okay and then clear obstructions away from the garage or park closer to the wall okay is that good okay seems to be places at once it's still stuck on the olympic freeway yeah, Kiflam. Oh, look at this baby right here. That's mine right now. And now I'm gonna look for the car number five, or actually that's gonna be a motorcycle, and it's uh, located uh, in just a moment. It's gonna be located just over here. Uh, yes, so let's get there, it's not far away, that's gonna be the final vehicle we have to deliver, and then this Epsilon program mission has been completed. These missions are very weird, sometimes boring and stuff, but I don't know, I just wanna do this, so yeah. Here we go, let's get to the location, okay, here we are, we should find a bike somewhere in here. Uh, uh, is it parked inside or where exactly? I'm gonna be right back. Okay, so apparently the one image was wrong and this car or bike can actually be found at the Life Invader office. So I'm gonna go ahead and drive myself over there with this beautiful car that I already have crashed a little bit. Here we go, let's go carefully, I don't wanna do a big crash. So we're gonna get to the Life Invader building. Here we go, and it should be parked outside over here, and there it is, alright, so let's take this one and deliver it to the garage once again, so here we go, only one kilometer, Let's go, Michael, you're not wearing a helmet, Shit. this is dangerous. Anyways, I don't know if the helmet actually protects you in case you crash, just like this. Like health-wise, I lost a quarter, like a third of my health over there. So, I don't know if the helmet actually protects you in case you crash. In case you crash but well 
I don't drive too many bikes in this game, so that's a mystery to me. But anyways, we are here at the garage and this mission has been completed. Alright, are you happy now, Epsilon program people, huh? There it is. Okay, mission has been completed. Five out of five vehicles delivered. Don't act like a tough guy. Yep, don't act like a tough guy. Anyways, let's get over here. And... Well... I think that this was a pretty good episode already, so... And I think... I'm gonna end this episode over here thank you guys all for watching I hope you guys enjoyed I also hope that I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode or some other video on the channel but anyways thank you everybody for watching I hope you guys are having a wonderful day to yourselves and so on and so forth and see you guys later Bye-bye, everybody, and see you.